Alright, for today's tutorial, it's going to be breakdown moves two. A couple of these moves are going to be variations on breakdown move one. They're actually all combination moves this time. Um, the first one is going to be a between the legs spin move and pull back. Skip to my Lou was the first person I saw do that on M on Mixtape Volume 1. The second one is one of my first combination moves I ever learned. One of my favorite. It's called the U-Tap Two-Step or the Killer Crossover. Uh, the creator of that was Tim Hardaway. He used to play in the NBA. Looks like this. And the third is one I invented. It's a sham god reverse or a sham god inside out. Um, basically, it's like an inside out dribble, but you're gonna go outside in. The fourth one is gonna be the regular inside out dribble, like that. All right, the first one we're gonna actually break down is gonna be the the Tim Hardaway crossover, the UTEP two step. What you wanna do is you wanna start with the ball and do a crossover between the legs and come back. It's pretty much that simple. But to make it effective, you want to make sure, kind of like a lot of the moves from breakdown moves on when you do the first one, the first dribble, you want to make sure you're taking a nice step, a good jab forward, and at an angle, like you're going to try to go around your defender to one side. You want to do that real quick, and then come back even quicker. And just like in breakdown moves on how we talked, you want to try to keep the ball in your hand as much as possible. So you can start with the ball high up here if you want, but when you actually let go of the ball to make the dribble, you want your hands close together and, and you know just barely letting them go of the ball for a split second. And what I like to do with this move is I really like to bait the defender into thinking that I'm going to go this way. So you kind of try to set them up. And you want to just kind of try to look this way. Let them think, okay, I'm looking at going past them this side. And then at the last second, bring it back right away. And you want to start, you know, kind of almost like letting them know you're going to go over here and then do that quick and then come back even quicker to the other way and from there you can go right to the rack and just like the stiff leg you know you can go like that and come back and go for a shot you know just play with the different angles and see how the defender is playing you and react to that the second move is another combination move it's going to be the skip to my loose between the legs spin move and pull back like the Tim Hardaway crossover, you're going to go between the legs and you're going to end up moving in this direction, but the way you're going to do it is going to be different because you're going to come into a spin move and then you're going to pull it back again. The reason this is so effective is because people rarely ever see someone go out of a spin move and then pull back. Most of the time if someone does a spin move, they'll stop and shoot or they'll go all the way to the rack and go for a shot and keep going. So it's really unexpected. What you want to do is cross over between your legs from left to right or right to left, whichever way you want to do it, you know. And again, low dribble. You're going to pivot, keeping this leg down and moving this leg. So if you're going left to right, you're going to lift your right leg and pivot using your left. And you want to make sure you're using that as your pivot foot. Or if you're going right to left, pivot off your right. Because if you pivot with the wrong foot, watch what happens. You just stay in one spot. You don't get anywhere on your defender. You don't move past them. The idea is to make them think you're going to go past them. And if you're actually going to go past them on the spin move, you want to be able to make sure you're gaining distance on them. If you pivot with the wrong foot, you don't get any distance on your defender. So once you get that pivot in, you want to make sure you kind of... I like to keep my hand right on the side of the ball and kind of switch it back like that. From there gonna snap your neck around quick to find where the ball is right away try to keep you know once again keep the ball in your hand as much as possible and then pull it back and it's almost gonna be a stiff leg like motion you can either do it with a stiff leg or you can do it between the legs and what's gonna look like game speed is this and you're wide open for a shot then or a lot of times a defender will quick run run back on you because nine times out of ten they're gonna go back and if you come back like this right away, a lot of times they'll come back up on you and you can cross over and go right back to the rim or you can even go to this angle and go right to the rim. And another option you have to you as well is um, using that pullback off the Tim Hardaway crossover. You can go. It's almost the same concept. It's just a little bit different look. And, um, you know, in different situations you might want to use a spin move whereas others not. The spin move I, I like using if you have a defender really close on you, if they're making contact with you. That way if your defender's right here on you, look what happens. 
they can't get to the ball. Because you're protecting the ball away from them the whole time. Your defenders here, your defenders here. They have no opportunity to get to the ball. Whereas with the Tim Hardaway crossover, if you're, they're too close on you, they can pick it right here. The next move I'm going to teach you is the inside out dribble. Um, I'm going to teach this one before the reverse sham god because it's kind of similar concept. And in a lot of ways, it's like a regular sham god. Because in a regular sham god, what you're doing is if you watch breakdown moves one, check it out. You bring it back like that, pulling it back. It's like a reverse crossover, your hands over the top of the ball, pulling it back. In an inside out dribble, the ball's always in one hand the whole time. Your hand's gonna start on the outside of the ball like a regular crossover. You can bring it over the top, moving it in the direction of a crossover, and then you're gonna pull it back sham god style. And then, what I like to do in, in games and stuff like that, or to try to shake your defender, it helps a lot. Like any other move, you wanna try to move your legs a little bit, or make them think you're gonna move in another direction because with, without them seeing you having the intent of going somewhere they have no reason to move and you're not going to break them down you're not going to be able to shake them or fake them out so you want to be able to take a step and then come back just like in the sham god the stiff leg all that boom take that step in the crossover direction and then come back i really like using a lot on a fast break if you see a defender coming up on you and you think you know they're, they're good they're going to try to really come and pick on you and try to pick the ball from you, boom, do that. It's nice and quick, effective, the ball stays in one hand the whole time, you have good control because the ball's in your hand as much as possible. It's a lot harder on a fast break to do a crossover like that running full speed versus just keeping the ball in one hand. And with that for freestyle, um, it's very, very used in freestyle, a lot of variations of it especially. There's a between the legs version, between the same leg. There's that version, which is like the hot sauce version. With the hot sauce version, you keep the leg down. Basically, you're gonna come across your body, go to your opposite leg, and come through from the back side. You're gonna take that step. And then there's also um, just behind the back version. It's just like the, the, the sham god variations. Ball's just in one hand the whole time. That's the only difference. Next move is gonna be the, uh, the sham god reverse. The sham god reverse is real effective because after a while, People are going to start to pick up on the sham god and they're not going to fall for it. And they're going to like, okay, I know he's going to come back here. But after a while when they start picking up on it, you'll have this in your arsenal and you can bring this out to fake him out again. Basically, you start just like a regular sham god, put it out, act like you're going to pull it back. But instead, you're going to come, put your hand over the top of the ball, bring it back. And once you start to get over here, you want to take a little step, bring your hand back over the top of the ball like that and come back into a regular crossover and it almost be kind of like you're doing like that Iverson cross so it's like a combination of the sham god and an Iverson crossover a little something I kind of came up with because after a while people started picking up on my sham god it was a variation to get past them and with this you can also do other things like go between the legs with the regular crossover to just you know get a little more protection or give a little different look to the defender or you can come from the back you can come behind the back all that. Basically what you want to do is really sell that first step. You know, act like you lost the ball just like you're going to do your regular sham guy. Take your step out. Take another step out to the other direction. Put your hand all the way over the ball and come back. And from there, once again, you have all kinds of options available to you. You can take the jump shot. You can go to the rim. Just, you really have to read your defender and see what he's going to give you and not give you. I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, I got another one coming soon. Uh, I got some requests for some more things to be taught and stuff like that. So I'm going to see what I can come up with for you guys. If you got any other requests, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and what you want to see.